I'm having a good time playing this game every time I play it. All right, good. We got zero, zero of all of our resources. No gold, no light. We're starting over. Delving into the dungeons. I just fixed a few bugs. There were some some issues, and we were restarting the run with the issues fixed. Hopefully, cross your fingers. This run, I am forcing the game to give me the boomerang as the first ability. You can get three different, there's so far three main weapons you can get when you start a run of Wraithbinder. And that is the boomerang, which I have now, the bow, which is just a bow and arrow, and then there's the blade, which can be either a sword or an axe right now. The sword is faster, uh, but does a, a medium amount of damage. The axe is a little slower, but it does like twice the damage. It's pretty sweet. All right, what do we find here? Oh yeah, same item as before, Great Sword of the Swift. I don't want to equip it. I like my other axe I have already equipped. This is great because it has a little bit of ranged attack and it has the whole axe mechanics, which is a stronger attack and, but slower. But I just love the, the strength of it. All right, we got a key. Sweet, so we're testing out keys, of course. This is going to be part of today's... Part of what's been done since last week is doors and keys. So each of the dungeons has basically just doors that are locked and um, all sorts of keys you can find to unlock them. What do we get? Trucker! Oh, this is a rad one. Minus 50% cost to all abilities. Sweet. Really enjoying seeing where this goes with um, with abilities and relics. It's starting to surprise me as the developer of this game how the relics can combine in unique fashions to create somewhat emergent gameplay. Almost game breaking at some points, which is really fun. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm way too powerful right now. But as long as it's not so powerful that it's declining the fun. I think it's alright. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we used a key. Oh, I love it. I just want to use the door open. Yeah, look, you got trapped on the other side of the door. That's right. You don't belong here. So this is my first time playing a run with the boomerang. Oh, I love how you can pick up items. That's really cool. What do we get? The lightning cube! Sweet! We've got trucker and lightning. Those are some powerful items already. There's a definite bug there. I gotta fix that. This little issue where you can sort of walk on air at some points. Sweet, we got a cloak. Oh, what kind of cloak is that? The current cloak I have is nice and long. This is a tattered cloak. I don't know if I want that. Make my guy look different. Even though it does have plus 12% attack speed. Hmm. I think we got the relic here. Did we do the um, backtracking thing though? Let's backtrack and get the other relic. From the dungeon previous. Let's do this. So far my approach has been just like... Just go for the most fun things possible, right? Even if it doesn't quite balance correctly. If it's um... If it's fun, that's the that's the most important thing, right? The perfect balance can come later, but it, I'd like to try and get it in the ballpark where it's really fun to play it. And then, you know, maybe later I'll go back and tune it just a little bit more to like take a little bit away if it's too powerful, or maybe try and uh, solve like some combinations of items that are that are too powerful. I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> Winging it all the time. What am I doing? He was like, do I, do I, am I qualified to do this? I guess so. I guess I'm qualified. Oh, sweet, we got lightning, I forgot. We've got lightning and trucker, which means that once I start getting some more abilities that use matter points, trucker will basically make them, um, really cheap to use. Lightning is a really interesting element. So lightning um, basically adds to all of your weapons, 
So if I had a blade right now or an axe, it would add to those two, but it also adds to my boomerang. So your primary weapons, any of your, your primary weapons, which are melee or ranged, um, gain this whole um, lightning attribute. And what's sweet about lightning is that it chains to other enemies nearby. So you shoot out a little bit of lightning and it will hit, the, chain, the lightning will chain to lots of other nearby enemies and stuff. Um, all of the elements have their own unique sort of twist. And, uh, whoa, that guy killed my whole guardian? Wow. Uh, um, so yeah, there's fire, which will spread. So if you light an entity on fire, like, you, let's see, you're fighting an, an enemy, and you hit them with some fire, um, they will catch fire, and then they will also spread the fire to other enemies. Sweet, we got... Telekinesis! Oh my gosh, I've never had telekinesis this early in the game. Okay, so this little bit right here where there's a bunch of these, um... These jars with gold in them. Um... This is a gate that I haven't finished yet. So... The interesting twist about Wraithbinder is it's basically... This mode I'm playing in is a cooperative dungeon crawler. Um, basically a roguelike where you're, it's permadeath, and if you die, you go back to the beginning, or, or you go back to your ship, and you can upgrade your character and keep playing. So it's basically a roguelite game, uh, but with online co-op. And But the twist is, we've got these Metroidvania mechanics. So basically, when you gain abilities, like I just got telekinesis, um, and I can hold down the C key to use my telekinesis and attract objects. There's no other objects to attract around here yet. Um, but when there's enemies, I can attract them. Uh, but basically, all of the uh, abilities have have a, a, a corresponding gate or bridge that allows you to cross once you have that ability. So I need to come up with a cool idea. Sh shout out if you have any cool ideas about this um, of a gate item to use the telekinesis with. with. I was thinking that it would be something like a bridge or something like that where I would use the telekinesis ability and it would like hit throw a switch and that switch would boom 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 like open up a gate. I can use telekinesis. That's not really a very useful ability though right now. Maybe because so this was all designed for um, the co-op mode or sorry the, the PvP mode. So there's a battle arena. And it's really interesting when you're fighting other players to use telekinesis to, um, to when, they're, when they're running away from you. Because then you're like, whoa, sweet, I can catch this guy even though he's running away from me. Uh, but maybe in the dungeon mode, in this, in this uh, roguelike mode, I guess you could say. Uh, maybe it would be a telekinesis push instead of a pull. That might be interesting. What do we got here? Oh, sweet! Fire and lightning now. Here's what I'm talking about about um, emergent gameplay. Like, I have no idea what's gonna happen now that I have both of these elements. I'm spreading fire and I'm... I've got lightning on all on my boomerang and any sort of, um... Dang, this is interesting. Like, what's gonna happen? Like, how much damage am I gonna do now? Am I just gonna totally own the boss? Yeah, everybody's on fire, and they're getting lightning. And I can pick up items with a boomerang. Okay, so, HP Steel, right now, if you max it out, you can get 32% hit point steel, which is a lot. I almost think you would, you need to divide it by at least 4... So yeah, let's try, let's try a max of 8% hit point steel. Okay, sweet, so... We just nerfed HP Steel. That's one thing we can do in, in three minutes. Strike the Anarchy! Okay, well, gosh, that was a long playthrough. We spent pretty much the whole stream playing. That was great. I love playing. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of notes taken of things that need to be improved with Wraithbinder. And um, I've got a whole bunch of other notes that I've taken earlier this week. Right? As usual with all projects, take one, add five, expand on three. Yes. Yep, it never ends. Never. It never ends.